Hey guys, welcome to our very first video series called Building a Better Audit. Today, we're gonna to talk about functional configuration audits. A functional configuration audit is an audit to determine whether the item that you're examining meets all of its performance requirements. In other words, does the item do everything that it's supposed to do? Now, performing a functional configuration audit is actually pretty easy if you have all of the right information. So to perform a functional configuration audit, First, you need the set of requirements that the item is to perform to. The second piece of information that you need is the verification method for each one of those requirements. Now, these two pieces of information are documented in what's referred to as a specification. The third piece of information that you're looking for is the test report showing where each of the requirements was met. Now, typically, there's going to be a scorecard of sorts. It's sometimes referred to as a BCRM or an RTM, a verification cross-reference matrix, or a requirements traceability matrix. Just kind of depends on where you are. There may be even more names for them, I don't know, but those are the two that I've run across um, most of the time. Now, uh, if you want to see an example, if you'll scroll down on your screen, uh, I have a screenshot of what one of those might look like in your organization. Now, to perform the audit, you start with a completed VCRM, and you go requirement by requirement to make sure that each piece of information is satisfied. Now, if you run across a requirement that is not satisfied, then you take an action item. You'll want to make sure that you have a robust action item tracking system uh, to make sure that each one of these items are closed because you actually can't close your functional configuration audit until each item has been proven to be satisfied. Um, sometimes it can take a long time, so just make sure that uh, you can keep track of everything. Um, there are lots of different action item tracking systems. Just use whatever you're comfortable with in your own company. Now, once you verify that each requirement has been satisfied, you're going to issue a certification sheet. Um, it can be very simple or it can be complex, but something to show that the part that you've examined meets all of its performance requirements. And you're going to take that certification sheet and you're going to vault it in your document release system just so everybody knows that this item meets all of its performance requirements. Now, following the functional configuration audit, you typically perform something called a physical configuration audit. And that audit documents the physical configuration of the item that meets all of its performance requirements. That's going to be the topic of our next video that I'm going to release next week, and we're going to talk more about how to conduct a functional configuration audit. If you found this information helpful, Go up to the top of the screen, enter your name and your email address to receive our practical planning guide. It contains all kinds of information that you guys can put to work in your organization uh, with all the different uh, disciplines of configuration management. Anyway, thanks so much for your time. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.